<laughs> Fairy tale, Belyanochka and Rizochka. On the edge of the forest, in an old hut, there once lived a poor woman. In front of the hut, there was a garden, and two rose bushes grew in it. White roses bloomed on one, and red roses on the other. Two beautiful daughters looked after the garden. They were similar to these roses. One of them was called White, and the other, Rose. Both of them were humble, kind, and obedient girls. Once while in the forest, they even made friends with a bear. And the bear came to visit them often. Once, the mother sent the daughters into the forest to collect brushwood. The girls were happy to help their mother, and they walked along the forest path looking for dry firewood. They sang songs and told each other funny stories. Suddenly, in a clearing, they saw a tiny man. He was running around a fallen tree, as if on a leash. Belyanochka and Rizochka went closer and saw a magnificently dressed gnome with a wrinkled face and long white beard, the end of which was stuck in an old stump. The man's eyes were red as hot coals and unkind. What are you standing there for? Can't you see I need help? The gnome creaked in a nasty voice. What happened to you, dear man? Rizochka asked. You can't see or what? The gnome replied rudely. I wanted to split this stump and get thin wood chips so I could cook some food. But the axe jumped out at the wrong time. And now my beautiful beard is stuck. And you just stand and watch. Ah, you are disgusting. The girls tried as hard as they could to pull out the beard. But they didn't succeed. The stump did not give up. Oh, we need to call more people to help. Rizochka said. You stupid girl, what do you mean more people? There are already too many of you. The gnome shouted loudly. Come up with a better idea. OK, I figured it out, mm. whispered Belyanochka. She took some scissors out of her pocket and cut off the end of the beard which was stuck in a stump. As soon as the dwarf felt he was free, he grabbed a bag of gold he had tucked away in the roots of the tree and quickly dragged it away towards the rocks, grumbling about the ugly girls who ruined his magnificent beard. But he didn't get far. A huge bird of prey dove from the sky, grabbed the gnome and tried to fly up to the sky with him. Belyanochka and Rizochka ran up, grabbed the man and fiercely fought with the huge bird. Until it let his prey go. Not even a minute passed and the gnome recovered from his fright and again screamed at them in a terrible voice. How clumsy, rude and disgusting you are. Couldn't you be more careful? You tore my suit with your hands. It's full of holes now. Oh, my great fashionable suit. And the gnome grabbed his sack again and dragged it under a rock into a secret underground vault while never stopping scolding the girls. While the girls watch the ungrateful dwarf, let's see how carefully you have listened to the story. Do you remember why Belyanochka and Rizochka went to the forest? 1. The girls wanted to gather a full basket of wild raspberries. 2. The mother sent the daughters to collect some brushwood. 3. The sisters were going to look for a treasure. That's right! You listened carefully and missed nothing. Probably the mother wanted to bake pies. So, she asked her daughters to collect some dry brushwood. Subscribe to our channel. Still waiting for you, coming up many more interesting stories. Suddenly, from a thicket in the forest, there came a terrifying roar. A bear ran out into the meadow and moved towards the gnome. The man realized that with his short legs, he would never run away from the huge beast, and so he fell on his knees and prayed. Dear Mr. Bear, don't eat me. I am dried up, wiry and small. For you, it's just one bite. It would be better to pay attention to those two girls. They are sure to be delicious. You should eat them. You'll definitely like them. But the bear did not want to listen to the old gnome. 
Just one stroke of the paw, and the evil gnome disappeared, like he never existed. The girls got scared and ran away. But the bear called after them, in a human voice. Boyanochka and Rizochka, it is me. Don't be afraid, I'll go with you. And indeed, it was the old friend of the two sisters, whom they had fed from their mother's garden. When the bear approached the girls, the bearskin fell off him, and a beautiful young man appeared, dressed in rich clothes. I am the king's son, the prince, said the young man. The evil gnome was a sorcerer. He stole all of my jewels and turned me into a bear. I had to roam the woods like a beast. But I managed to catch the gnome and reverse the spell. You both took pity on me while I was a silent wild beast, so we won't be apart again. Now I'm human again, and I want you, Belyanochka, to become my wife. And Rizochka, my brother likes you very much. He will gladly marry you. And so it happened. Soon they had two weddings, and the sisters moved into the royal palace. And their mother moved into the palace with them. And they lived with her for many years. The daughters were calm and happy. Their mother took both rose bushes with her. They grew under her window. Even today, every summer, wonderful roses bloom on them. Red on one, and white on the other. And that's it, my dear friends. Kindness finds its way to any heart, even that of a wild bear. Selfless help and care make the world a better place. And anger and rudeness are unpleasant, and do not honor anyone, even a grumpy gnome. <laughs>